Hey guys, welcome to Dog Will Fix It. This is a Samsung Galaxy Fold 3, and I've got a problem with the Wi Fi, so the Wi Fi will not turn on. I've tried software updates, I've tried removing the smart Samsung Smart Things apps, I've tried to reset the Wi Fi network settings, uh, and all of that kind of stuff, but no luck. Basically, the Wi Fi icon will not turn on. No Wi Fi, it's been running on 5G, 4G, 3G, whatever you want to call it, for a couple of weeks now, and it's killing my battery. So, what I've been told is that there's a set of ribbons that go between the, the fold and they wear out over time. So I've had this phone for four years and it's worked perfectly up until a couple of weeks ago. So what happened was is I opened the fold and the phone just froze and then died and restarted. And then again, it did it again and again. And then I realized that Wi-Fi was not on and it's never been on ever since. So it looks like the ribbon cable that runs between the... Um, between the two pieces of this phone has worn out. So if you look at this, there's a ribbon that runs across here and here. And obviously as you open and close this, that ribbon will wear out. So I do have a replacement, but we need to get this thing open. And basically this screen needs to come off. The back panels need to come off. The front screen needs to come off and they're all glued in. And the way you do that is by heating them up to 90 degrees. So I'm gonna be using uh, a heat gun i hope this works <laughs> i don't have a heating pad like most professionals i don't do this every day it's not my day job so i'm going to try and heat this thing up to 90 degrees and then remove the front screen and the purpose of the heating up is to 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 base soften up the glue that's holding it in place then remove the front screen which is the one you're looking at remove the back screen and then uh we'll take it from there so wish me luck okay so <clears throat> What I've been doing is, like I said, I've got this guy and I've got it set to about 90, just over 90 degrees. And I've been just heating up the edges, just heat them up, heat them up. And then basically, once you get it hot enough, I've got this really fine blade, right? Or razor. And I've just been just cutting through. I managed to get the lip at the top because there was a slight um, little bit of an edge there that I could actually get under. And then just cutting through this like this, there's glue here. So you're just cutting through the glue all the way down, all the way down, all the way around. And now if you look, the screen's starting to separate and you can actually start to see. So I just, it's still stuck on this side. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, heat that up and then try and cut around it with the glue. And you can see all I'm doing is just cutting into the glue along these edges just to separate it. And we'll clean that with some alcohol in a bit. Um, and then we'll move on to the back. Brilliant. So I managed to get this screen out so you can see intact without breaking it. And then we can just unclip it from here like that. And that's the screen off. And you can actually see now we've got batteries and stuff. But I'm gonna put this screen to the side because we're gonna clean it and get reuse it hopefully. And now what I need to do is flip this over and do the same thing on the back, get this back panel off. Okay, so the back actually with the cameras came off much easier, probably because it's metal or whatever it is. So that's the screen, that's the other side. And then you can see now if I flip this over, both sides are out. Um, and what we're going to start doing is start moving out some of the pieces. Okay, so I've popped out the screws here, 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 here. There's a couple there, one there, one there. I'm just going to take this one out to... So let's flip this over to the opposite side and then we'll start here. So we're going to start taking out um, this panel here. We'll take out the bottom panel here. Um, and you see this as well. So you can see there's quite a few screws around there. So let's get them all out as well. All right, so I've popped out most of the screws. So you can see that these are out 
this one, these ones are out, these ones are out. So let's just start taking these bits off, these covers and protectors. Uh, see if we can get this one off. Please put something nice All right, so let's open this up. So now, if you look, this is how the phone looks. This is the camera side, I think. Yeah, this is where the main set of cameras are, and you can see that actually. So, and then this is where the actual out of screen would be. And you see here, right here, these, these are the two, they're connected through the other side. So they threaded through onto this side, um, both of these ribbon cables that we're gonna try and change. Um, I've got access to the batteries as well. So you know what, it's a four year old phone. I might just change the batteries while I've got it open, but we'll, we'll show you how to do that in a bit. There you go. So now what we're gonna do, and this is where I, I'm a bit nervous about it, is flip it over. We need to heat up this side and remove the front screen. So right now you can see, right, there's a little trim on the edge that needs to come off. So that will come off once we heat this up a bit. There's a little uh, hinge. I don't know what you want to call it. There's something in there that needs to come out uh, once we get the outer layer off. And then the screen is obviously glued in. As again, we'll be very gentle with that. We don't want to break it. Once we've got that screen off, then we can actually see the hinge. We'll actually give the hinge a clean as well when we get there. Okay, so let's get this thing heated up. Just the same as before with the gun and then use the blade to help cut around it to get the cut the glue cut through the glue so i'm just heating up sections and then as i heat them up this is actually coming out really easy once they're heated up uh, and don't force it you can see now actually that um that section's all off and we're just going to heat up this side and pull that out and then we'll start to see how we can heat this screen up and try and get underneath it um and get that out too so let me get the other side of this trim out so I managed to slowly very carefully try and get this screen this half of the screen up and you can see there's a connector that goes through it was connected on the opposite side that we already disconnected but I had to use something much longer than just a blade to really get in there and just separate the glue from the screen to get this piece off and now I'm going to heat up the opposite side and do the same and slowly start to remove that again hopefully I haven't broken the screen now my heart uh, biggest worry because it is quite a flexible uh, softer screen than the front one than the outer screen but let's see what happens so I managed to get this off uh, step by step and I was using this uh, but you need to be careful you don't cut the actual connectors for the screen to the to the boards and stuff um, and now I can actually got this off I can see access to the hinge so what we're going to do is we're going to actually peel off these um, this white sticker on both sides and then unscrew the templates holding the hinges in place um, so let's quickly do that see if I can grab this And we're going to keep this for later because we'll, we'll put this back on when we put this phone back together. So basically just peel it back like this. And then keep that because we're going to need it so I'm just going to stick it onto the thing. And then the same with the other one. Same with this sticker. We'll put that there, we'll put that back on as well. So I'm just, yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up these screws, remove the top plates, and you can see right here the yellow and the green. 
uh, that's the actual um, flex that we're going to replace and while we're doing it we'll give a quick look at the actual hinge see if it needs a good clean or not so let's get that open right now as well What we'll do is we'll give this a good clean. You can see it's got a little dust and stuff, and then this is the flex hinge that you can see there. These are probably shot. Just two, this one and that one. So that's the ones we're replacing today. So these are the two we're going to replace. So you can see I've got a replacement for the top, which is, and it says upper on it as well. And I've got one for the lower, which is a slightly greeny blue color. Um, so we just need to unpin these from the, from the pins right there. They just seem to be slotted in right here, so I'm just going to try and lift them out with something sharp. So they're starting to lift out, and just you see that plate slightly stuck there. And then what you need to do is just flip it over and just kind of help feed these, feed these through, and then feed this one through, feed that through, feed that through, and then pull it out, basically on the opposite end. So just wriggle them out. go just take this off this little rubber thing I'll put that back into position that's come out nicely just get this rubber bit off here kind of snapped it but I'll probably get away with it so that's one it does look it does look a little frail on some of the edges so maybe that's why we've lost a little action and wi-fi and it's only going to get worse the more you open and close the fold so let's put that to the side let's get the second one out like that so that one's out as well all right so you can see i've got the ribbon cables in i've managed to get the red those seals are there to stop liquid or anything getting through to the opposite side where the actual board and everything sit. So these are just extra protections to minimize water damage potentially if you do get water into this area of the of the phone. Uh, but all of them are in, they're in position. I add a little glue on the right hand side just to hold that, um, just to hold that ribbon in place. Uh, but what we'll do next is we're just gonna grab the clamps, the metal fascias, uh, stick them straight over and hold it down, screw them back in quickly. And then on all opposite sides, all of the little plates that you see across here, look, I've got them right here. They will need to go back in on this hinge to seal it back up. Um, and then we'll start to work back on the opposite side. So you can see I've got the top plate in up here and I'm just going to put the bottom one in because you can see these keep moving. So we need to get them locked into position and make sure they're lined up nicely like that. You can hear them click into position. Let's get this in. go get the rest of the screws in and then basically start to redo all the plates you can see them here lined up just get them all back in so this hinge is closed up and then we'll flip over to the opposite side or we'll actually get this screen sorted first brilliant hey okay, guys so you can see now both all the plates are back in and the hinge is functioning pretty well 
it looks good. You can see the ribbon cables, the blue one and the orange one are in. So we're back in business. What we need to do now is just get these strips, those stickers, and we'll just stick those back on to cover up um, all the relevant areas like this. We're just putting that back. And remember I said save that. Uh, we've got the other one right here. Stick that back in. This around there. That's good. So what's next is we basically gonna have to uh, get this screen. So this is the this is the folding screen. Remember it was glued in, so we need to get this stuck back down. Uh, feed the um, feed the relevant clips through. The, so you can see this one feeds through this gap and then the other one through this gap and then the other one through the gap up here and you feed the ribbon cables for the screen in reposition the screen so you need to re really glue it back down so glue around all the places you saw it was glued try and remove the uh, these these things here get it glued back in into position so basically in reverse of everything you did remember we also have once you've glued that in you need to put the trim back in you need to put the the hinge the hinge um, stoppers or whatever you want to call them these little things right here um, and then do everything in reverse once you've got the screen back in it's glued in flip it over and basically start to put it back together all right so I've got pretty much everything back in I've added some new batteries in as well as you can see uh, and then all we're gonna do is basically uh, stick this glue this down glue the back panel down and get this back in like that. And then you see the, the, the outer screen, you just connect it up to that little connector right there. So we'll just connect that up right now. Then we'll fire this thing up, see what. So moment of truth, we're just gonna fire this up. Let's have a quick look. See if this thing fires up. So far, so far, looking good. So hopefully you should be back in business with um, new ribbon cables and so on. Thanks for watching, sub the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out.